here to talk about Sturdivant. Yeah. So the city of Sturdivant here in the area, in the living in Racine, in the in the Racine area, Sturdivant's a pretty major uh, city. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a major city, but it is a major it's city. it's only small. Yeah, it's not all that big, but it it definitely has an impact in our area. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So let's talk a little bit about let's talk about a little bit about the history of sort of it. So obviously yeah. it started out as farmland because almost everything yeah. in this area starts out mm-hmm. as farmland. Um and yeah, I but mean, it does it's seem been like settled it's settled and farmed for over two thousand. Which years. is interesting because a lot of places in Wisconsin are very woody and very yeah. woodsy, and Sturdivant does seem like it hasn't been a very woodsy area ever. Yeah, like, there's trees and stuff there, but it seems like from the research we did that even going back like two thousand years with like um, uh-huh. Native Americans and stuff, the various tribes that yeah. have lived in that area, which has been about three or four tribes for sure that they know about. Um, it looks like that's all been like farming versions yeah, of those always tribes been farming. Yeah. so that is kind of interesting yeah. especially since now it's not in the least bit farming no it's not even close to warehouses and industrial yeah it's very it's quite like it's got quite a few different and we'll get to that in a bit here yeah but um i when you told me about when you were doing the research and then we sat down to kind of like talk it through because this is what we do every week, guys. We sit down and we talk through before we get on camera. We talk through the various elements with each other. Yeah. Uh, what are the things? See we what wanna... surprises have popped up along yeah. the way when we're researching. Because yeah. I do, I generally do the research. Yep. And then. And then I organize his research. <laughs> Kimberly organizes the research into a a good order so that you can understand what I've researched. <laughs> what he's found yeah (laughs) and then we sit down and we tape it together Uh and the thing i found most fascinating that's different from the other cities in the area that we that we've done this on um is how many names it's had it's had multiple names over the years caledonia hasn't had this mount Mm. pleasant hasn't had this racine hasn't had this generally they're named after a feature but racine has only had two names is named after the root river yeah racine's only had two names Pretty yeah. much the Native American name that it had because of mm-hmm. the river, and then Racine. Yeah. So, which is a French word that pretty much just that means root river. That means <laughs> the root right. Racine is the French version of the word root river. So yeah. The the Indian word for root river. Uh-huh. So it's pretty much always been Racine, but Sturdivant has not been Sturdivant for very long. No, only <laughs> since 1923. In actual fact, right. So well, prior- let's talk about be prior to that. So yeah, the first known name was Parkersville. Yeah, although some people say the first known name was Johnson after William M. Johnson, who was the first postmaster. Yeah, but the but Parkersville was because of the farming family the that Parker settled family in this, that the Parker owned, family. Yeah, that right. farmed the area. So they were very some of the name. early very early settlers to of the that area. area right yeah. so you've got parkersville possibly then you've got johnson after william johnson the postmaster which kind of mm-hmm. makes sense because until a town has a post office at least back in the 1800s until it had a post office it was just an area it yeah. wasn't really a formal town generally uh-huh. um but then even after that it was let's let's those two went away and then it became western union junction which yeah. makes a little bit of sense because um, there is a lot of trains that go through Sturdivant. Like tr- this, yeah, the, the railroad major, went through Sturdivant. There's quite a and, few trains yeah. that go through Sturdivant. In fact, in yeah. the area in Racine County or in in Racine, the only train, the only major train or commuter train um, that goes through is in Sturdivant. Yeah. We don't have a metro train that comes all the way to Racine. Sturdivant no. is the only passenger mm-hmm. train um, is in service. The services, yeah. Yeah, and we'll talk about that we'll a little say, bit further yeah. on. But Western Union Junction. But then it seems like it went again, it changed names. Yeah, it, <laughs> it became Corliss. After? After the Brown Corliss Engine Company from Milwaukee. Yeah, which is really funny because Corliss, I mean, because 
we did say that Sturdivant is kind of industrial, so it's interesting that it name its name seems to have changed multiple times with, based on yeah, the industry. Whoever the based on the industry. Yeah, the biggest employer, I suppose, was at the time. Apparently, because then it changed names again after Corliss. Yeah, to, and that's when it finally landed on Sturdivant. But Sturdivant. even Sturdivant comes is from named after a company. It's yes, B F Sturdivant Company, which opened a plant in. Sturdivant. <laughs> they were the ones. So BF Sturdivant were the ones that created these great big industrial fans, and they were actually some of the yeah. industry leaders in um in cooling and AC like AC yeah. cooling type things. And they were originally from Massachusetts, from yep. Boston, mm -hmm. and they opened a plant in Sturdivant this area and renamed the whole city. The whole but that's village. the one that stuck. <laughs> yes. So in 1923, the name Sturdivant from that company. Well, if the, stuck. if if the if it went on, yeah, um, it would now be called Rude because Rudd. they are the, it's actually or pronounced Rudd. Rudd. Is it yeah. Rudd? Pronounced Rudd. It's R U U D. Yeah, I think it's yeah. pronounced Rudd. But anyway, which is actually a map. It's part of Cree. Uh, to yeah. be honest, I uh -huh. actually recognize Cree, and then went, oh yeah, I forgot Rudd or Rude. I don't even know because they're to the major it. employer in the town. Yeah. So, but yeah. no, but we're not. We're not changing the name again. It is Sturdivant <laughs> since 1923. We've yeah. made it over a hundred years. Let's keep it yes. over a hundred. Like mm -hmm. let's let's keep Sturdivant. Otherwise, well, we're only get just over a hundred. Yeah, years, only so. just. It was 23, and we're in 24. Yeah, yeah. So they just so Sturdivant as the name Sturdivant has just celebrated last year its hundredth anniversary, yeah. it's centennial. So, uh, so that's kind of interesting. Yes, yeah, it and it is a village. Cool. Its classification is as a village. It's not a town. It's not a city. Yeah, it's a village. Um, which means it has a village board, like a board of directors, as opposed to, um, as opposed to having a council or a, yeah. other forms of government. Um, so it does have a town board and a town manager, as opposed to having a mayor per se. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and then so it's a village. It has a fairly low. What I found interesting was some of the statistics about Sturdivant. Yeah. So the population's only about seven thousand people. Yeah. Right around seven in twenty twenty, it was sixty nine hundred and change. Yeah. So probably gone up a little bit since then and we're now at about seven thousand can you guess how big sturdivant is in mileage you mean in square yeah, footage or square, square miles. miles i mean well i know but you can go it's ahead and say less it. than five square miles it's yeah. only 4.19 it's even square less miles. than four and a quarter when you think about it so it's not even and close that's to all five. land there's no water yeah, there's no the only water you will find in Sturdivant is like retaining ponds when a subdivision yeah. has been built and they build a retaining pond to uh -huh. like have the extra rainwater runoff so it doesn't yeah. get into basements. But it may be a pond at a park or something like that that they That's put like man made yeah. stuff. But there's yeah. no there's no natural creeks or rivers or anything that no. technically run through Sturdivant. No. Um all of the creeks and rivers are outside of Sturdivant, mm -hmm. maybe by just a little bit, but yeah. they are. Now, you will find culverts and, and things like that. And yeah, ditches, ditches and, things, and stuff. Stuff that probably have water retention and maybe kind of mimic creeks, but yeah. no natural creeks, no natural rivers, no natural lakes. No. It's, you know, which is kind of interesting because how do you farm where there's no natural creeks, rivers, yeah. lakes? And we're surrounded by water. We're, you know, we've got so many every lakes other principality. And yeah. M Mount Pleasant has a river because the root river goes yeah. into Mount Pleasant as well as um mm -hmm. and it goes into Caledonia and it's got multiple creeks and rivers you've got. Yeah, I found that amazing that it is it doesn't have any natural Yeah. Um, Obviously it must have had springs though, because otherwise how do you yeah. farm if you don't have water? Well, yeah, you don't farm wells. without water. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wells. It must have natural yeah. springs and and wells uh -huh. that they tapped into. So, um, some of this inter these are some of the other really interesting things. I was so surprised at the median age. Yeah, like the median yeah, age. Young. It is quite young. It's only thirty five point eight years. So, millennials, apparently, you love yourself some sort of event. Yeah, because. That's where you're living mm -hmm. is in Sturdivant. The 35.8 yeah. is the median age. That's yeah, interesting. That's really interesting. But the thing that shocked me the most was the gender makeup. Yeah. Because wherever we go, we always see that there's more women than well, men. Well, statistically in the world, there are yeah, more. There's, because women there's about 55 men. And... It's not just that. There are more women born than uh -huh. men. Mm -hmm. And we're not entirely sure why that is. Maybe because women die in childbirth and so natural selection. Who knows all of that, you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But we do know that across the world, the demographic of men to women, women is usually about 55 percent of the population. Men are about 45 percent of the population. Yeah. OK. And so that's just worldwide. 
And yeah. you see that reflected in most of the cities around this area as well. I'd say that that reflection, it might vary a little bit down to, you know, 51% to 49. And, but it's usually in that 55, 45 split yeah, is, in general. Yeah. It's generally but around Sturdivant, that, that mark. But Sturdivant? Yeah, 61.7. 61, 61 plus, almost 62%. Are male. Almost 62% are yeah. men. So less than 40% are women. And, well, 38, because that's what yeah. 62 minus. Yeah. So if it's almost 62%, then it's almost 30. It's only 38. I shouldn't say almost. It's only 38% women. Yeah. That's shocking. Yeah, it is. That's just, that's like such a really big skew. And I wonder why that is. Because I wouldn't call it, maybe it's because it's a very industrial city. Maybe it attracts single men because of the industrial, the industry that's in the, the area, work that's the work there, that's yeah. there. I don't know. It must attract single guys mm -hmm. and not so much single women for whatever reason, yeah. which I don't understand. Because let's talk about let's talk about the shopping that's there, because quite frankly, the shopping. Well, OK, there is a good mix. I guess Blaine's Farm and Fleet. That's definitely a guy store. A guy store that's yeah, a guy store. But Milliger's. Milliger's is so for those of you, if we haven't talked about Milliger's before, no. but Milliger's is one of the top um garden centers and yeah. they have two locations one of them is in Sturdivant one of them is up on the north side of Racine yeah but the Milligers in Sturdivant is their bigger location it is huge um, I don't think it's their original but I think it's their their largest one now mm -hmm. and I think it's because there was more land and they were able to yeah what they have but in there used Racine, to be an airport behind them right well what they had they in Racine over. is what they had because that's the space that they had and they couldn't yeah. really expand but in Sturdivant when they bought their land they bought it a long time ago they have tons of land a beautiful greenhouse so Milligers yeah. is great in Sturdivant uh -huh. the Milligers in Sturdivant is definitely the one I prefer to go to yeah, it has more much selection more variety because yes. of the size they can store more. Yes, exactly. So that's really good. Store that's my to go favorite to. Milligers. Yeah. But of course, you're a fan of Farm and of Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Yeah, I like to go to Blaine's Farm and Fleet uh, because generally you can find what you're looking for. Yeah, if you're a guy. If you're a guy, yeah, yeah not so much clothes so for women. They, they do fishing gear, camping gear. They do. Automotive Stuff supplies. For your trucks and I will and that, say, yeah. Blaine's Farm and Fleet has a really good automotive center. Yeah, they've I got have a been there. As a, but yeah. they're really good. And that yeah. they've always been very reasonably priced and they do good work. So I've been there before. I had a yeah. car before that needed all new tie rods. Remember the Mazda yeah. I had? Mm -hmm. Needed all new tie rods and everything. And we took it there and they did a fantastic job. They did. And it was not, I didn't feel like I was getting scammed. No. So. Um, we haven't had a need for any of those things on our cars currently. I think I had a couple of tires done there and balanced. Um, on but, a previous car, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But not recently. Yeah. Recently, we've gone to Walmart for that. But but Blaine's Farm and Fleet does have really good um, mechanics and really good service center there. So yeah. And it's quite large. They have a lot of bays. It's not like they it's do. just one or two. They have like six or seven different yeah. bays and large car park out the front as well yeah. so it's easy parking yeah easy to go in and walk around so the quite... other industry though that you found that i was surprised at and you were surprised at yeah was was the forge we uh, actually have a blacksmith shop in sturdivant sturdivant yeah it's called iron wolf forge yeah. And they mainly make stuff for the Ren Fairs. Yeah. And so. which is not surprising because we do have the Renaissance Fair in Kenosha County. Yeah. Down um, off the highway, down in the Pleasant Prairie area. Uh huh. But, um, or Bristol, I think it technically is but in they Bristol. Make specialty knives and stuff like that. But uh, they also do a lot of custom work. So if you are looking for a specific knife type, they can make it for you there. Like forged uh, in fire. Yeah, like forged <laughs> in fire. But they also make some custom furniture If you've never seen that show, well. guys, you should check out Forged in Fire. It's an older yeah. show, but it's very cool, the things that they make and yeah, the, the, the knives and the weapons and swords things. Swords and, and yeah, yeah, they try to replicate certain... Like ancient ones and yeah, stuff. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. Yeah. So we've got a blacksmith. We also have Layman's Bakery, which is, yeah, of course, so you got to have your Kringle. Your Kringle. Got to have a Kringle place. If you're yeah. in this part of Wisconsin, uh -huh. you got to have a Kringle. Now, O&H is our favorite, and O&H doesn't have a shop in Sturdivant, but no. Layman's does. So uh -huh. that's a, you know, tick up that's for Layman's. Plus. That's yeah. a tick up for Layman's. And a Grand Appliance, of course, is over there. Yes, yeah, so um, for all your appliance needs. Yep. Now, what's interesting, though, is that Sturdivant also spans, even though it's not quite five mile, squ five square miles, it goes like horizontally. It runs north to south yeah. primarily, and it's kind of thin 
but quite north to south because it runs between Highway 20 um, all the way past Highway 11, all the way down yeah. to um, almost a KR. Not uh -huh. quite, but almost a KR. So yeah. it does run quite, but it is kind of plopped right in the middle of Mount Pleasant. Yeah. It is its own little thing right there, right in the middle. Yeah, and, and, it, that and boundary, it goes up and down and up and down. And... Well, and the boundary has changed over time because yeah. the, our very favorite condos, the condos that if we said, well, I shouldn't say we, I think it's your very favorite condos. Yeah, if I was to want to live in a condo in, in this area. area, these would be the condos I would go to. And a few years ago, when we first started selling them, they were in Mount Pleasant. Yes, but they were. now they're considered part of Sturdivant, in a yeah. way. Like they are, they're a Sturdivant zip code, but they still call themselves Mount Pleasant. So it's a really weird section. Yeah. But there's, but that's the other thing about Sturdivant is that it has all types of houses, and they're not named after Sturdivant area. They are the Villas of Racine. Racine. Yeah, <laughs> it's not named. At, the, the The condo association is called the Villas of Racine, which is not in Racine and not, but it's not named after Mount Pleasant or Sturdivant, which is where yeah. the zip code is and where it's located. <laughs> uh huh. But it is in the Racine area. But they're but. really nice condos. They they're not my favorite, but the only there. reason, I will say, the only reason they're not my favorite is because my favorite is downtown because it overlooks yeah. the lake. Uh -huh. So there is a, yeah. that's the only reason. And I am a old soul. I like 1960s architecture and stuff. And yeah. it has that cool kind of uh -huh. Rat Pack vibe to it. Yeah. So, uh, but the, I have to say it would be number two on my list and I'm married. So I have to kind of go along with you somewhat. We have to kind of find and compromise. Yeah. So Villas of Racine is a great one. Um, they do. We have two families. We have single families and they are all mixed together. We, we literally yeah, yeah. just sold a single family home that was plopped in the middle of a bunch of two families. Like if you yeah. drive up the street, it's only two blocks long and you have just as many two family homes as you have single families on that street. And that was kind of part of the issue. When it was we were a good selling. mix. It was a yeah. nice mix. We love the neighborhood. The neighborhood yeah, was the great. The neighborhood was fantastic. But it was difficult sale because people didn't seem to recognize that the neighborhood was good. They I assumed... think in most places they see two families as being problems. Yeah, but not in Sturdivant. These were but great families. These, the, yeah, I, I walked up and down the whole street. Advertising. Putting out cards, advertising, talking open to houses people. and things like that. Yep. Talking to people. And everybody was so polite they were really nice even the kids so kids to would me, come up and ask questions about to me the, house. the kids were the best part of it yeah. because when you drive up on a small street like that and all the kids are out on their bikes and they're like in the street and whatever the question is do you get lip off of those kids when you pull your car up that street and they never did in no. fact they were extremely respectful they always got off the road when our car like when a car pulled in um they always pulled off to the side they were careful yeah. but they were clearly a whole group of kids because it was we were doing this all summer yeah so they were all off school and they clearly all played really well together overall. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's conflicts because they're kids. That's what happens. But Sturdivant has but this really cool vibe. Baseball, basketball. Yeah. But Sturdivant has this really cool vibe where you could have a two family and a single family or a bunch of them all together. And everybody just seems to get along. It's like yeah. it was really good. And in fact, this particular home, the back of the home was onto the correctional facility, which is yeah. another thing that Sturdivant has. They have the Racine. The Racine County Correctional Facility is in Sturdivant. This particular home backed onto that. But that didn't seem to bother anybody who lived there. And they said, no, nah, we never have problems. It's great. It's awesome. Yeah. We love living here. It's a great street. Yeah. So even that doesn't seem to pose any kind of a problem for the people. No. So I thought that was really fascinating. Um, so we've got we've talked about um, all the shopping. Let's talk about some of the other areas of interest. Of course, we've talked about the fact that the um, the Racine County Correctional Facility is there. Yeah. But let's talk about some of the more positive things. Well, you've which also are, got the cinema there. Yeah. The cinema is over on off of Highway 20, and that's yeah. part of Sturdivant. The you, Marcus Renaissance Cinema, a yeah. great cinema to go to. It's the we, theater in the area. Yeah. It's the only theater we go in, there, the, in the Racine you know, area. Many times we've yep. been there. Yep. We have. We've been there. They've got times. a nice little restaurant in there as well where yeah. you can get a burger it's and It's a Marcus stuff Cinema, like and yeah. all of the Mar Marcus Cinemas have yeah. the little restaurant now. Um but you've got Hiawatha Crossing, which is like um, jogging paths and running tracks and things yeah. like that. You've got Fireman's Park. You've got North Park, East Park. I did not know that Sturdivant had a skate park. No, neither did I until I started doing the research and they have their own skate park. 
Yeah. So just like the skate park we covered a few weeks ago in yeah. Racine when we were covering the parks, uh -huh. Sturdivant has its own skate park. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then it has a museum, which yeah. I didn't know at a museum, but the museum makes sense. Yeah. It's the Western Union Junction Railroad Museum. Which makes sense because there's a, yeah. because that's where the majority of the railroads in this area come through at this point. Yeah. Most of the railway lines come through Sturdivant. Um, and don't really go through Racine. They go through some of Mount Pleasant or Caledonia, but they all come yeah. through Sturdivant um, as well. So it has a few carriages there and And the and only train the that. only passenger train system that we have in the in this area in Racine County. There might I don't think there's one on western Racine County, but this is of course anything east of the eye, the only com the only passenger train we have as a stop in Sturdivant. Yeah, their stop is Sturdivant, and it's called the Hiawatha or the Borealis. The Borealis runs later, but that's new. That's, that's only new. That just, just started come this, to year. Us yeah. this year. Yeah, the Borealis line. Yeah, but the Borealis line actually takes you all the way up to Minnesota if you want to. Yeah, it comes from it's Minnesota, kind of cool. uh, goes all the way down to Chicago. Now, having said that, I don't think that many people use the Sturdivant line, the the Hiawatha, which runs from Milwaukee to Chicago, unless they're a commuter. If they yeah. are working in downtown Chicago and they live in this area, okay, then they probably use it because there's literally, it's like an hour journey from here to the center of Chicago, from Sturdivant to the center of Chicago. To Union Square. Right, to it? Union yeah. Station. And um, that's only an hour trip, which is faster yeah. than anything else. Faster than driving, cheaper. And but I and the only way it's cheaper, though, I think, because it is $27 each way. Yeah. That's outrageous, in my opinion. That's a lot of money, especially when I know that I can drive to Skokie, park in their parking lot. Don't tell everyone. That's all right. Park They'll in their park. Start using it. No, we park in park. I can drive to the Skokie Swift station, park in their parking lot for yeah. three bucks a day, jump on the Skokie Swift when you're just going in for fun. Now, obviously, as a commuter, yeah, yeah. if you're working there, that's different. But I can drive to Skokie, park for three bucks. Yes. Does it take me two hours to get into the city? Yeah. But for five bucks, I can now ride anywhere in the city on any of the Chicago transit. Yeah. And we use it if we're going to a Cubs game. Yep. Because, yeah. Or hey now my, now my nieces. Fans. Yep. And now my nieces are in, are going to school in Chicago area. So, um, like last Sunday, I went down and visited one of my nieces and, um, Spent the whole day on you Sunday went out with her. For the day with yeah. Her. yeah, yeah, We went to church together cool. at a really cool classic church, and then we went to Lincoln Park Zoo, and we ran around and which is a free zoo, by the way. Yes, which Chicago. is free zoo. zoo Although in we're talking about Sturdivant. yeah, but let's get back to Sturdivant. <laughs> so let's going back to Sturdivant. But the point is about the railroad. You do have the Sturdivant station there. Yeah, and so if you and and it would be great for a commuter because it does only take an hour to get into the city. Yeah, you can literally just sit there. You do have a and tray it's table. About Thirty minutes to get to Milwaukee if you was going the other way. Right, but the nice thing about it from Sturdivant into Chicago is you do have a tray table. You can set up your laptop and you could work for that hour going mm -hmm. into the city, and then yeah. come back as well. So I can see, I can see the advantage of that. Yeah. I can see it if you're a commuter and you're getting that monthly pass. That makes sense. Uh -huh. um, so we've talked about different places of interest. We've talked about the shopping that's there. Um, there's one hotel, which is over by Highway 20, over by the cinema. Um, yeah. And that's uh, Homes to Suites. It's a, it's, a, it's a bargain version of Hilton Hotels. Yeah. It's really made more for business people. Mm -hmm. It is really more of a business location, which is why it's really near the train station. Because if people are coming in for business and they're using the Amtrak to get around. to have it close yeah. to the station. Exactly. Yeah. You could walk from the from the hotel to uh -huh. the station. Little little walk. It's like walking maybe two, three blocks, but you know, but it's still very nice to be able to go back and forth. Um and then we talked a little bit about the commerce or the, the jobs that are in the there. The employers that are there. Yeah. yeah. So you've got for only a five less than five miles for four and a quarter square miles. Yeah. We've got uh Rud, rud lighting, rud or rude lighting, whichever it is, which is just a subsidiary of Cree. Yeah. Um, you've got Andis. Yeah, Andis, and we've already talked about the Department of Corrections. But they're the top employers, and BRP US, and BRP. Inc. Yep. So yeah. there's there are quite a few employers in that little four and a quarter mile square mile uh -huh. section of land. So. Quite a few major, like, um, not major, but pretty good size industrial things. One there thing is, I was surprised. Do you know what at? else is in Sturdivant that wasn't on our list? And I can't believe you forgot this off. There's a really good lumber 
store. There is Blifferts, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good lumber yeah. place. And they annually, every single year, they actually hold a home builders liquidation sale, yeah. which basically is home builders, uh, new home builders, they will, at the end of the year, they will liquidate their pieces that they couldn't use. Like maybe they yeah, bought so 10 they may doors. Have ordered over what they needed or yes. they might have received eight right-handed doors and they only needed seven Six, of those. Right. Exactly. Um, and so or somebody chose to upgrade their door yeah. to a personalized door so they didn't want yeah. to use the, the the standard one that the builder used. So what the builder does is they take them over there and they have like a, not an auction, but like a liquidation, like a sell yeah. it off quick and sell it off cheap. Yeah. We've picked up some really good things. In fact, we our got patio doors. There. Yes. Our sliding glass door at the back of our house yeah. was from there. We have also, we also a marble picked up sink. a marble sink for our bathroom. Yeah. Yep, exactly. That was like a hundred. It was like, wait, that was like 75 bucks. We bought a pantry for our kitchen. Yes, we did. That was like 75 bucks, yeah. but it was normally something that would cost two to $300. Mm -hmm. And we got this pantry covered. A for bargain only, price. Yeah. Bargain. Absolutely. It was really As exciting. long as you can pick it up, then, you know, yeah. you can always go over to Menards, which is close by, and hire out their 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 uh, truck. Their truck. Yep. Go and pick it up and take <laughs> it home. I mean, for nineteen bucks, I think. Yeah, it's something the like truck that. Truck is. Yeah, yeah. twenty nine actually. It's is almost that... cheaper to go to to go to U-Haul if you're. U-Haul and there's a U-Haul in Sturdivant as well. There is a U-Haul in Sturdivant. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you didn't even talk about Blifferts and the lumber company. No. So that's a that's a really good lumber company. I've yeah, been there before is. for other things. So. Uh -huh. Um, and as far as like the, so we've talked about the housing, we've talked about the railways, the hotels, the commerce that is there. We've talked about like um, general things like the statistics of the area. Let's talk a really quick thing about the education. So the start event is considered part of Racine Unified. Yeah. So your kids do go to Racine Unified. Um, what's weird though, is that they are in the Mitchell, like most of them I know, go to that's Mitchell. That's what I found really weird. What is bizarre? Why are we sending people all the way to Mitchell? It's like on the other side of the area. It's yeah. insane. Like Case, there are some schools in Sturdivant, but they seem to be the private. Well, Schulte, ones, right? Schulte is uh is the is a really Schulte is in Sturdivant. That's the elementary. There's some Christian ones as well. Yes. But Schulte School for the public school for Racine Unified is a really good school in the Racine Unified District. Yeah. And that is in sort of it. In fact, one of our clients bought a house just right across the street from the school. And yes, they were like, they, they were so excited because, first of all, they loved the house. They loved the land. But they were super excited about the fact that they were right across the street from the elementary school. Yeah, they could literally watch their child go yep, walk to school. Exactly. She, she was really happy because she could just be out in front of her house at, with her little one that she was still at home with yeah. and then she had another one so um so but then she could watch her child walk to school and know that they yeah. were in safety because she could see them all the way across so so yeah so the schulte school is really good but it's just really weird that mitchell is what's is what's zoned for middle school yeah it's like on the other side i mean it's like a long ways away now it is down at the other end of 11 basically um highway 11 but Man, that's a long ways away. There's so many, there's so many elementary schools you have to pass to get there. I sus or middle schools you have to pass. I suspect that a lot of people either go private or they go with a charter school for middle school instead of yeah. going like with school choice uh -huh. rather than going to Mitchell just because it's so far yeah. away. Obviously, they'd be allowed to have busing, but still, that's a long ways away. It is a long now. Way. Case High School that makes sense because that's just down the road. Yeah. You just, that is the closest high school location wise to sort of, and so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But that's the, yeah, it is part of Racine Unified. Um, there are a couple of small, I think it's just a small Christian school there, a small private school there. Is it a Catholic one or is it a Lutheran one? I can't remember. A Lutheran. One. Lutheran. Okay. Yeah. So there's a Lutheran school there, um, but it's a small one. It's not very big. There are bigger Lutheran schools in the city of Racine and in Summers, which is just south yeah. of there. Um, so, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for Sturdivant. Um, it's a really cool, it, and I will say it has its own vibe. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You know when you're going into Sturdivant. It's like there is a different vibe, and it is more laid back. It is more it's more chill. It is more chill on certain things. And I think that's why you got the age maybe that's group because, that you have. Maybe, maybe that's because there's more men versus women, and men have less drama. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I realize that's a very sexist <laughs> thing for me to say, but let's be real, ladies. We uh -huh. know 
we know <laughs> we women we cause drama so maybe because yeah. the demographic of, of sort of it is 61 percent men they keep that 38 percent drama at a minimum so it does have a more chill less drama just kind of lovely place to live so so it, if you run a dating agency your best place to set up <laughs> is probably instead of it <laughs> yeah that's true if you want to do a matchmaking service for men that's for sure that's uh-huh. where that would be the city to do it in but um yeah so that's been kind of interesting I I mean, some of the stuff, of course, we already knew because we live in the area and we experience it yeah. all the time. Like I said, I can't believe that on our actual notes. You didn't I go have shopping right near basically there. on the border. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, because Walmart and stuff are right on the other side of Sturdivant, just before yeah. you get to Sturdivant. So yeah. it's right um, on the boundary. And it's kind of like the railway line is kind of the um, dividing line between Sturdivant and Mount Pleasant almost. Yeah. Where that where that train line runs through. So. Yeah, so if you are interested in finding out any more about Sturdivant, it's a great city to live in. Um, oh, we didn't talk about what the average home price was there, though. I think the average, so the average home price in um, southeastern Wisconsin is yeah. actually two hundred ninety-eight thousand right now. Yeah, but the average home price in Sturdivant is three hundred thirty-five thousand. Yes, so it is a little. That was bit... taken over the course of this year so far. So yeah, year to date, that was the average price. Uh, through till the end of August. But September. if you are a renter, there are some brand new apartments and tons of them that just went up yeah. on 11. So yeah, they built some new ones. When I say yeah. tons, I mean there's got to be over 100 units. There maybe even there 200 was 90 units. in that. Uh, in that one building? That one building. Oh, well, then yeah. there's like 400 units yeah. because there's like four or five buildings. Uh-huh. So if there's 90 per building, and the buildings are big, I just am yeah, terrible yeah. at that. I'm terrible at calculating. Um, units in apartment so buildings. So there's a lot of new play- properties. So, th- But these are brand new apartments. Yeah. And so that's kind of nice because you know that it's not going to be all beaten down. But and even worn the down. condos and that that are over there are not old. No, but these are like when we say brand new, I mean, in the last yeah, yeah. year, these were mm-hmm. built and there were hundreds yeah. of them built. So yeah. so if you're looking for a rental for a short term until you're ready to buy, there's even quite there's yeah. plenty of that in Sturdivant. So there's even new shopping areas that are not occupied yet. Yes. But they built underneath some of the new uh, apartments. Yeah, exactly. With the, the idea of building out some um, of that. Yeah. So the average house price, though, is three hundred thirty five thousand, a little bit more than the area in general. But you do get nicer houses, too. Yeah. So, you know, it is it is a newer area with newer houses. So um, as far as buildings go. And you can still get um, properties with more land as well. Yes. Not all of them, but you get there are still properties in Sturdivant. Yes. That will have an acre or two. Yes, absolutely. Or at least a half an acre, which is yeah. really nice. Half an acre is pretty spacious if it's a city yeah. lot. So mm-hmm. but anyway, so that is Sturdivant. And, you know, thanks for joining us. If you have any other questions, let us know down below if you have questions about Sturdivant that we can answer. But don't forget to click the like button. Oh, that's true. Don't forget to do us a favor. If you found any value in this content today, do us a favor. Click like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Most importantly, though, share this. And I know people are like, well, how do you share from a YouTube video? Because like sharing on Facebook Mm -hmm. seems more natural, but it's not like you have a list of followers per se when you share. Well, here's how you share. You can share YouTube to your Facebook. You can share it to your Instagram. Yeah. You can share it to your um, TikTok and, you know, things like that. So you can share YouTube videos onto other platforms and it helps us spread the word and it does help us increase it. So do us a favor and share this video if you think it's interesting or you found any value in it um, or if you think someone else didn't know some of these things about Sturdivant, let them know. Yeah. Did you know it was called Parkersville? Yeah. Did you know that it went through so many name changes that it sounds yeah. like um a woman with many divorces behind so, it. Let's flip a coin, <laughs> see what we're going to call it this week. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, like I said, if you find any value in the content, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss next week's um com- next week's thing. And we have some exciting things coming coming up to the next of the year. I think next week is beer gardens. Uh huh. I think next week do we're I talking get about to go and do some research. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> And so join us again next week and we are going to be talking about beer gardens because yeah. it's coming up to that time of year where lots of people are going out to the beer gardens because it's nice and cool and refreshing and it's fall. You got Oktoberfest right now. 
and all of those things that I are. I have to go and join them. Yeah, you. I know you. You want to go do like some research. 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 Yeah. Yeah. research. yeah, research. So join us next week when we talk about some beer gardens, which uh. hopefully he's not sloshed, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for joining us, don't guys. Don't drink and drive, guys. No, don't drink and drive. <laughs> I have drive. He drinks. Anyway. So next week, we're going to be covering, gonna be covering beer, gardens. beer gardens. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, I might, might be able to be go able enjoy, them, enjoy them. You might have to do some research. Yes, you have to do some research. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. That's sure. what he's going to call, gonna call, it, gonna for call it for next week. Just sample. Right. Right. I don't bring You're not bringing samples back to the video. Well, you might. you might. Because they can bottle. They can bottle. That might be a Yeah. We're not going to have a flight of beer for our video. And if we had the equipment the ability, we could just go to a beer garden and do it. But unfortunately, you don't have the plug and there, stuff so. there so uh but, uh, but thanks for joining us for joining us again, this week, week, guys. Next guys next week we'll be doing beer gardens, beer gardens and, and join us again, join us again next week, next week and, on, and, and, on and, and living in mercy bye for now bye for now bye, bye. I've got something funky going on do you, in my head. Yeah. Do you look? Do you look fine? Do you think you look fine? And people think I'm the one who's vain. <laughs> God, you can use makeup that. on for the cameras and that. <laughs> my makeup's already on. It's on for the day. Yeah. What makeup do you need, Russ? That's on. Take you need some pancake? Off. That's yeah, what it is. It's take the shine off. It's it's called pancake. The stuff that they yeah. use that in the uh in the theater and stuff. Is it? Yeah. And the reason it's called pancake is because it's really thick and heavy. It's awful feeling. It's the worst stuff ever. But we're not here to talk about makeup or pancake or theater or whether your hair looks good today. What are we here to talk about? We are.